Hopefully my home doesn't conflict with this mod. God damn, it's really fucking dark. Ah, good to see you again. Welcome to Firewater Cave. I hope Paula didn't give you too rude of a welcome. <laughs> Don't worry. She's just being protective. You'll be friends in no time. Anyway, how did you get on? Did you manage to get the caravan schedule? I got it. Yeah, I managed to get the plans. I gave him the Frank who said he'll get them in the right hands. That's good news. Once Frank manages to get them to our agents in the field, I'll give the gang the green light for another few raids. I know North Vegas has been struggling lately, so they'll be happy when they see the haul we get from those caravans. We don't have an official ceremony or anything, but let me welcome you to the Vultures. You're welcome to stay here as long as you need. Well, I mean, I already have a home that's like literally right in front of this cave, but um, I'm honored to join, Hosea. Nah, don't be silly. It's me who should be honored. If it weren't for brave people like you, then Vegas would be truly lost. Anyway, I reckon you'll want to meet everyone in camp. They'll be happy to walk you through their responsibilities and their day-to-day -day jobs. Once you've got settled in, I'd like to have a word with you. I have a job which requires someone with your talents. Alright, I mean, can I just... Ah, you're back. I hope you're making friends around here. Yeah, I'm ready for the job. I don't, I don't need to make new friends. I, I, I already have a robot and a lesbian accompany me. I, I don't really need more friends than that. Ah, excellent. I chose Firewater Cave to hide from the NCR, not just because it's out of their reach. Let me explain. During my traveling days, I came across a Poseidon Energy Call Center. This was back west, before I started my war against the NCR. Those sorts of places, if you're lucky, could have spare medical supplies hidden in a first aid locker. That's if you're willing to take the risk. Yeah, I mean, I've found some really useful stuff in pre-war ruins, you know. I'm, I'm all about that prospecting life, you feel, homie? You'll know exactly what I mean, then. Always worth exploring, especially if you're short on caps. What if I'm short on height? Well, I found more than just meds that day. A couple of terminal entries and a pair of coordinates led me out here to this cave. I also found a bunch of bizarre looking key cards inside. Not sure what they do, other than the one that unlocks the bunker door down next to Beth. Did you explore the bunker below? We did, but it was far too dangerous. We nearly got overwhelmed. Honestly, we're lucky to be alive. I should have known it would have been dangerous when I read it belonged to Poseidon Energy. So what's the worst thing that could be down there? A few robots? They also have, you know, that power plant in Mojave, Helios 1s. Helios 1s, that's... Reading's hard, guys. Come on. When Poseidon is involved, you can never underestimate what could be lying in wait. Like our The terminal too? entries mentioned a name. Paul Reeves. Think he was some company executive who managed a joint project with Vault Tech. Both of those companies, based on everything I've read, were military contractors for the old U.S. government on at least one occasion. So, that means we could be sat on a military stockpile, if those coordinates are correct. Well, I mean, I can clear that bunker for you, no problem. I mean, I got my homies, you know, I'll... I'll, I'll do some good killing. Was just about to ask. We'd greatly appreciate you doing that. Also, we've managed to pull some caps together for whoever is brave enough to go down there. Oh yeah, give me that money. 
My thinking is that there's maybe something inside that can help in our struggle against the NCR. See what you can find. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. So what should I expect to face down there? Is there robots? Ghouls? Deathclaw? What am I, you know, looking to murder? I don't know exactly. When we first arrived, I sent Paula alongside a small group down to scout the bunker out to see what we were dealing with. They had to retreat from a large pack of feral ghouls. We're lucky that there was no casualties. The ghouls must have came out to hunt before we arrived. We've been here a few months now, so God knows if they're still alive down there. If you're lucky, they might have starved to death since we last ventured inside. If not, be careful as they'll be incredibly hungry. Oh, I'm incredibly hungry right now. Also, in most of these military bunkers, security bots are usually a big problem. So you might want to be prepared for those too. All right, I have no more questions. Okay, good. Take this key card. It's the one I mentioned that unlocks the door down next to Beth. Also, Dexter should be able to help you out if you need any particular weapons or ammunition. And finally, good luck. All right. I just want to look around. It's always good to, you know, take in your, your environment. Also, where's the, uh, Dexter dad, man? Okay, wait. Are you Beth? Okay. Okay, that's where we came in. I could really go for a snack. You got any recommendations? I'm so done with Salisbury steak. Are you Dexter? Yep. Oh, hi. It's nice to meet you. I'm Dexter, and you must be the new recruit. I'm the guy who fixes everything around here, so let me know if you need help. So what can I do for you? Let me see what you have for sale. Ideally, I'd give you all this for free, but we have to manage what we have carefully. You're better off than most here, so I'm going to have to ask you to pay. Fair enough. Right, what guns do I have? Oh, do you have a... Uh, you don't have a fucking leather action shotgun. Because if you did, I could. Go take whatever I can get, you know. We gotta. I guess you don't have any 5mm? Oh, it's okay. Thankfully, my home is like right in front of this cave. Weird coincidence that I just didn't notice the fucking cave behind my home. But you know, I'm 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 pretty oblivious. If you've not already figured that out yet, just take this ammo real quick, and then I'll spaghetti on down there and kill everything in there. Woo Actually, let me let me repair my woozy, my woo woo woozy. Yeah. Really fucking dark. Hello? Jesus Christ. So I... I apologize if this is really dark, because it's also really dark on my end. Hold on, can I turn up the brightness? Uh -oh. That's 
not much better. Yeah, we're gonna like walk out into the sun and it's gonna be blinding. Hello, I'm looking for... I'm looking for sluts to kill, because that's kind of what I'm, all, what I'm all about, in a sense, you know. Get fucked. Oh, we're gonna kill all your, all your kids. Oh man, got punched right in the fucking face. Damn, son. run through these hello uh oh hello my god this is big a fucking bunker that's enough of that that's enough of that hello ooh, ooh a magazine <clears throat> Doctor's log, August 10, 2079. We're not gonna last much longer. Parker and his cronies deserted us and took the rat away with them in the night. My years of medical experience haven't helped one bit. I've never seen condition like this. Skin starting to fall off that Let me now turn down my brightness so I don't burn my retinas. Because I have very weak eyes. Valentine. Probably because I need new glasses. Looks like his entire physiology hey. is changing too. There's enough to write several papers on, but <sighs> honestly, I've no idea what I'm looking at. Well, we gotta look on the bright side, don't we? I love to see the end of the world. Not many people can say the same. Doctor's Log. November 15, 2077. Things have stabilized around here faster than all of us expectations. No rads on any of our people either. Thank God everyone's safe. Even if we're all a little shook up still. Gray tells me the lead line walls have kept the radiation out. Weird. The instruments outside haven't picked up any ionization. Must be a fault caused by the strike. Maybe they're busted? Best to keep locked up for now. It's not worth the risk of checking. Doctor's Log, February 26, 2078. Perhaps we were too optimistic with our original readings. It wasn't the walls that kept the radiation out. Turns out that Vegas wasn't actually hit. We braved a few expeditions, and it turns out House was able to destroy the bombs before they could impact. However, the walls had some unanticipated gaps, according to Gray, and we're now suffering from the effects of exposure to nuclear fallout. We've got a decent supply of rat away, which should allow us to get by. However, we'll need a long-term solution, and fast. Hopefully we can get that bastard Reeves to open the vault door. We're willing to let bygones be bygones, but so far all we've had is radio silence. Hopper will find a way through. I'm sure of it. Ooh, is there anything in the BF room? Fucking nothing. I knew that. But you know you gotta check because you never know. Hello? Yeah, 
Yeah, get fucking punched. Quit doing that, Jesus. You're gonna get shot, Jesus. Told you, fucking Jesus. You shouldn't be trying to do the Jesus stuff. I ain't gonna allow any of that Jesus nonsense here. I'm not going to read all of this, because I'm not a fucking teacher, so... I think we came that way, yeah. So, oh, Vault Twenty Three. Calm down, Eddie. All right. Trouble. Oh. Oh my. Oh, look at that. I know how doors work. Take that science. Can't stop me. I mean, I guess you probably could, but you know. Yeah. 